guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maria and today I've obviously got a very different setup. My brother actually lent me his camera so it's insane I'm looking in the viewfinder now and oh my gosh it's just so much clearer and it's really cool and I'm really excited. Before we get into the video it would really help me out if you just subscribe down below, make sure you like and make sure you comment, make sure you share the video. It really means a lot, like it literally means the world. And as well as that I upload every single Friday so make sure you check back then. So today I am going through my goals for 2021. I thought this would be really good because not only should we set goals but we should also talk about how to actually achieve them because <laughs> we really suck at that. If we don't have an action plan or if we don't even have a reason why we want to do something it can be really tough to actually achieve them. <laughs> so I thought what I'd do is actually go through my goals for 2021 with you but also my action plans how I set about to do everything, how I set about to achieve them and get them done. So let's go through them. I'm actually gonna move back a bit because I feel like I'm too close. I don't know. It's really weird because there's a new setup. It's just strange, but let's go. So my number one goal in 2021 is to be healthier, but I recognize how unspecific that is like that is so broad that could literally be anything so what i did how i separated it i've ri written it down in my diary look i've got a little little wait <laughs> can you see it yeah it's like that and i actually wrote down my plans like what i plan to do i'll read them out for you and let you know so i said eat more fruit and ve veg drink more water get more sleep and get more exercise okay that's you know that's all right but that's not specific enough because eat more fruit and veg, well how much more? Drink more water, how much more? Get more sleep, how much more? <laughs> Get more exercise, how much more? So I was like, this is not good enough, I'm not gonna be able to do this, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with this. So what I did was I thought, how am I gonna measure my progress? How am I going to keep track of myself? And how am I going to motivate myself to do these things? What I said is I'm gonna download a sleep tracker so I can track my sleep and track how much sleep I'm getting every single night. I also said that I'd get a food tracker and like track which foods I eat every single day as well as that just try and aim to eat five pieces of fruit a day. I think that is a really good goal and as long as you can kind of stick at that it's a good number to constantly have in your head. Five five pieces of fruit, five pieces of veg. I think that's that's perfectly fine. What I also wrote down is my why. Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to be healthier? Because obviously all of us probably want to be healthier. I mean, that's a reasonable goal, but a lot of us don't know why. Like why, why do I want to be healthier? Why do I want to do it just because I feel like I have to because it's the new year? So I said, my why is I want to be able to fit into my old clothes because I have a few clothes in my wardrobe that I, the buttons just won't do up because my little pot belly. <laughs> and plus I want better skin and a better metabolism. So there you go. That is my why. And your why can be anything. Your why can be anything as long as it's healthy. If you're saying I want to reduce my waistline because I feel uncomfortable in my body and I feel pressured to because of size D, then that's probably not so good and that's probably not a good why. Your why shouldn't come out of a place of shame or fear or you feel misplaced. It should come out of a place of I want to do this because I want to do it. I want to do this because I want this for me in my life. Second goal of mine is to to read more. So what I said is I will download a reading tracker and try to dedicate 20 minutes a night to reading. And I actually found a really good one. It's really straightforward, really simple app. And I said, my why is it's good for my brain, bro. I would say choose good books. I've been reading this book that I meant to about two years ago. I asked for it about two years ago and I haven't got around to reading it until now. And I'm like, this is so rubbish. It's like a romance, but it was like toxic and it was just not a vibe. Choose books that you enjoy. Don't read stuff just because you think you have to. Goal number three of mine is to stop idolizing a relationship and be more content in my singleness. Oh dang! <laughs> so what I wrote for my little steps of how I'm going to achieve this, I said take myself on dates, self-care, like always, spend more time investing into friendships, into relationship with God, into my growth as a person. And then I said my why, <laughs> boys are dumb, <laughs> lol, joking, I actually wrote that, I'm, I'm so funny. <laughs> 
Um, I've said I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the right time, God's time, whenever that might be. And that means I've got to be patient. <laughs> that means I can't rush anything and I can't idolize anything. I can't put this relationship on a pedestal. It's going to solve my problems. It's going to fix me. I did a video on this, singleness. It's really hard. It's really hard being single. But I was like, nah, you know what? I want to be content this year. I want to be happy without a relationship. I don't need a relationship to be happy. So my little steps, I think, will be really good for that. Self-care just makes yourself feel better and makes yourself feel more comfortable in your skin. But also spending time investing into friendships. And this is a massive one. Spending time investing into my relationship with God. Honestly, I've been kind of sidetracked with boys this year. And I feel like not actually dating them, but like thinking about them. And I I think that is actually a problem because obviously it's a problem because when boys take over your mind instead of what's important like for me my relationship with God it takes priority that is the most important thing in my life that is the most important thing to me as a person so when I'm spending time meditating oh my gosh I just need a boyfriend I just want a boyfriend I'm so sad being single oh my gosh he's so fit he could be my boyfriend then I start to get in a bit of a spiral and it's a bit of a problem. God is number one, man. If last year taught me anything, it's that God is the most important thing <laughs> in life, ultimately end of story. And I also put invest into my growth as a person. So just spend time with myself, do things I enjoy, get to know myself more and commit myself to things, commit myself to my work and to my school. Goal number four of mine, I wrote, be kinder. I think I'm nice, I'm nice to talk to, not to toot my own horn, but I think people would say that, like I'm nice, but I'm not very kind. I don't go out of my way to do nice things for people. And I think that's where your character truly shows because you can say a lot of words, you can say whatever you want to people, especially nowadays, you can text anything, say whatever you want, put any image you want of yourself forward, but it takes character to actually go out of your day and make other people feel better. I wrote, I'm gonna journal kind deeds. I wanna do that, I wanna make it a goal to do one kind deed every day. I also said try to reach out to friends more, so actually go out of my way to message them and ask how are you doing, what's going on, how are you, how's life. I also said do things people don't expect and use nicer words because I can be pretty mean, especially behind people's backs, actually going out of your way to compliment people. People like that who have done that for me, you are amazing and that is just takes so much character and confidence and security in yourself. It's so easy to be that person who nitpicks other people and, and looks down on them like because they're different to you or because they're better than you at something. But it takes real character for someone to go, you might be better than me, but I'm gonna compliment you. And then my why for this, I said, the world needs way, 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 way more love and kindness. End of story. The world needs way more love, way more kindness, and we need to just be kinder to each other. Last year was rough and tough, and a lot of people went through a lot of hard times and crap, and we all went through it together, but a lot of people it hit worse than others. So we just gotta be kinder to each other. Okay, goal number five of mine this year, invest more into my relationship with God. My small steps for that, I said, read the Bible every single day, use a Bible plan to structure this, listen to worship while doing everyday tasks, keep a prayer journal or prayer jar. If you need help with the Bible plan, by the way, what I'm doing, it might sound boring, but actually going from the beginning of the Bible and actually going through it, like Genesis to Revelation. I'm currently on Exodus and not gonna lie, it's taken me ages and I'm not even reading, just reading it. I've got this app called Study Bible app and it's incredible. Just type in Study Bible and it has notes on literally every single scripture and it has helped me massively and it's really helped me to understand even the historical elements of the bible and the actual context which has been really cool so yeah go check that out if you want to use that also listening to worship i listen to so much secular music which is totally fine i don't see anything wrong with listening to secular music but when that becomes the soundtrack to your life and all you listen to is effing and blinding and songs about sex and drugs it really takes your focus off what's important which is God. And then prayer jar. I actually have my prayer jar here. I got the idea of TikTok. It actually was um, 
a gratitude jar but I made mine into a prayer and thanks jar so that's been really helpful because it's really cool to actually look back on your prayers as well like things you've asked for and things God might have given you already and as well as that going through the things you're thankful for that is so important I couldn't stress that enough I have I think two videos on giving thanks I think it's so important gratitude so go check them out because oh my gosh my why for this goal is God is the most important thing in life and must be the center of my life or my life is in vain and nothing is important god is so important and i think i should just leave that that there's not more i can say my sixth goal for this year i said invest more into my friendships and then for the little goals i said do things out of the blue say thank you ask for help love well be honest send letters write words and then i put for my why friends are gifts from god and deserve proper investment and time and love and care and attention a lot of us don't even know how to be good friends and i really suck at being a good friend sometimes and i think it's so important to invest in those friendships because these people around you are the people who are forming you and shaping you so why would you not invest into them i think love languages are very important to learn about number one one for that so you can actually see how to feed into your friends better but also just knowing stuff about them like little things little things that you know will brighten their day like it doesn't take much to get to know them <laughs> I mean they're your friend you probably like spending time with them so you probably wouldn't mind it but it doesn't take much to just go I know what will help you in this situation so I'm gonna do it for you and then finally goal number seven of mine I said invest more into my family relationships I said be slow to anger plus all the above about friendships and put why family is all we leave behind baby it's so true like family if that's the one thing you're truly connected to when you die like <laughs> that's all you're gonna leave really your legacy your family so yeah i said be slow to anger and it might be different for you whatever it is for you go for it but for me it was that because i really really suck at being patient especially with little siblings i get really angry quickly but i know how much influence i have over my little siblings i know how much they look up to me I know how much they take cues from me they look up to me as a role model and I don't want to take that for granted and I don't want to abuse that so yeah I want to be kinder I want to be patient and I want to help them and I want to love them well <laughs> so yes that is my complete list i hope you enjoyed watching and i hope you took something from it and i hope you make some goals yourself if you have made a list of goals let me know let me know what your list of goals is you can comment down below or message me because my socials are linked down below like i said earlier on i upload every single friday so make sure you check back then it's been real thank you very much for watching love you lots you are amazing beautiful people peace out